all right so i have removed it and removed the background white background wherever it was visible and now let's apply this so i'll press i will right click and select convert to smart object and that way it is going to be converted into a smart object all right so we have now one layer okay over here and let me now just color grade this all right so let me delete this top layer and we'll select this color balance tool or color balance adjustment layer and make sure it is clip to the chopper so i'm going to rename it as chopper okay and let's add little bit of blue or red to it and little bit yellow and little bit green and let's select the shadows and in shadows as well let's add the red magenta and let's little bit of blue okay and select the highlights and add yellow and let's add a little bit of cyan okay and uh, magenta all right so let's add magenta all right so now this is fine and now we have to add lots of a uh, warm light over here as you can see in this poster all right so we'll add that with the help of the gradient so again we'll select a gradient from here and make sure this gradient is this one which is which has this um, purple and the orange color and press ok and press ok and let's change its layer blend mode to linear doge or let's try color doge color doge is not working overlay all is not working let's try screen screen is somewhat looking good but i will go for the linear doge all right and let's slow down its opacity maybe something like this or let's make it 100 percent okay and let's create one more layer blank layer and change this layer blend mode to again the linear doge and select this orange color and we'll increase its size make sure we have the soft as brush and we will paint it little bit over here let's lower down the opacity to 20 percent and then paint it something like this okay and what's wrong all right i see a little bit dot over here i don't know how come this dot has come so i'll delete this layer again create a new layer let's change its layer blend mode to linear dose and paint it little bit okay and let's add the contrast to this image so we'll increase the contrast it is going to add the contrast let's lower down its brightness maybe something like this okay and we'll select this brightness and contrast layer and again with the soft as brush choosing the black color we are going to paint it over here so that we see only this part lighter okay and let's see what in this one looks okay so 
so I will select this gradient fill and will remove some of the color from this site okay and let's create a stem copy and uh, let's again choose this gradient map and this time again we'll select the same gradient and we'll press ok and we'll change its change it to soft light or let's try overlay I think soft light is good so we'll bring down its opacity maybe something like this okay and we'll remove it from the face and let's keep it over here a little bit and now again we'll create one more layer and select the changes layer blend mode to soft light and we'll take the purple color from this okay and we'll paint it over here and let's change this layer plan more to linear dodge okay but this one is not looking that good so I'll drop down its opacity and now let's create one adjustment layer and this time we'll create a curves adjustment okay and we will take the polygon lasso tool and this time we are going to create these light beams all right so in order to do that we will click and drag click and drag and we have to create this kind of a shape all right and we'll close the selection and it is going to create this selection and now we will take the move tool and we'll click and drag it upside okay and we'll click control and backspace and now it has created this kind of effect but we want the reverse effect of it so we'll press control i to inverse the effect all right and now we'll go to the filter select blur and choose Gaussian blur and we'll increase the blur until we like the effect so we want this to be little lighter or maybe something like this and we'll press ok and we'll take, take the gradient tool from here and make sure it is black to white and press ok and we'll make sure you select the linear gradient style from here and click and drag it outside maybe something like this I think it's not working so we'll take the brush tool and we are going to remove it manually from here okay and now we'll press ctrl T and we'll rotate this layer maybe something like this and we will expand it even further and let's say create this one maybe over here and press ctrl J to duplicate it and drag it this side control T and rotate it maybe something like this okay press enter take the brush tool with the black color start painting on this area okay so that we get even light all right and let's paint it on the face as well 
because we don't want the face to be that lighter and we are somewhat close to this poster okay 